We are doing our thorough research with a lot of lawyers assisting us. At the moment, we've got seven. I think by the end of the week, we should get another three joining us, so about 10 lawyers, 30 chapters to go through. Today is a continuation of our earlier PC on Tuesday, where we talked about intellectual property and in specifically internet users and the impact of the TPPA on them. We are also concerned about the possible dismantling of Malaysian personal data protection. The TPPA requires Malaysia to open the door to a transfer of electronic information with other countries. Look at Article 14.11. Essentially, this allows corporations to take your personal information directly and put it abroad. Currently, Malaysia's Personal Data Protection Act 2010 requires companies doing business in Malaysia to store most personal data in Malaysia. Once the TPPA is ratified in, say, two years' time, all this will allow all our personal information of Malaysians to be stored in another country, say, US or, you know, or Japan or Singapore. And this allows for more leakages because it's outside your jurisdiction. Yeah? So the TPPA prohibits uh, data localization laws. See Article 14.13. Uh, Essentially means personal information that is hosted abroad would be subject to different laws on privacy. For instance, your personal data could be subjected to US government surveillance laws such as the US Patriot Act. We are therefore seriously troubled that the TPPA is undoing personal data protection laws and restricts the freedom of trade secrets through trade secrets provision. With the cost benefit analysis yet to be released, we have to ask how much of this personal data freedom, how much of these uh, restrictions on, on, on uh, journalists is worth to be sacrificed to an un unknown amount of gain that we could possibly get from the TPPA. Let me just explain to you the process, okay? Now, what will happen is uh, the, the TPPA, once it's so-called final finalized, right? The Malaysian government, the members of parliament, will need to pass laws, Malaysian laws, to meet and comply with TPPA provisions. So we have roughly about two years deadline to change, say, the Whistleblower Act, right? Your question is regarding whistleblowers. So we have to now go back and amend the whistleblower a specific section the that allows uh, trade secrets to be fully protected according to TPPA terms, yeah? which means an extension of white powers. Okay? So we also have to go back to data, pro uh, da data Protection Act and amend those, allow the servers in Malaysia to be used, to be moved or migrated out to US or to Singapore.